When unemployment services for employers went live, all existing third-party administrator and employer relationships were maintained as long as the relationship was active in UI Online. Once a TPA establishes access to their account on unemployment services for employers, they must indicate they want to view and work with clients. This will allow the user associated with the logon to customize their homepage and select the employers they want to work with each time they log in. Taking this action does not send a request to the employer. It is just a way for each logon associated with the TPA to narrow down the list of employers displayed to only list clients they work with most frequently. In today's video, we are going to review how each logon associated with the TPA will be able to customize the employers on their homepage. This is an action that must be taken at least once to begin working with employers. It's also important to note that all data in this video is fake and was created for the purpose of the demonstration. Today, we are currently logged in as the TPA Pay Managers. This particular TPA has access to their own TPA account, as well as one additional employer. This TPA already completed the request and specified that they wanted fluke whale watching to display on their homepage. We are going to complete the request again to customize a list to display additional employers. To do so, we will first indicate that we want to work with our own TPA account. I will click the Pay Managers hyperlink. Once we click the Pay Managers hyperlink, we are brought to a summary of the third party administrator account. To begin customizing our homepage to display additional employers, we will click the View and Work with Client Accounts hyperlink on the third party services panel. Once we click this hyperlink, we are navigated to a screen that displays all employers this TPA already has access to. Again, completing this action does not request new access from an employer. It simply allows the current logged in user to customize the list of employers displayed on their homepage. If a new employer grants access to the TPA in the future and a logon wants access to that employer, they would need to complete this action again so that employer displays on the homepage. In order to indicate that we want additional employers to display on the homepage, we will click the checkbox for each employer we want to add. Today, we want to add both employers that we have access to, so we will click both checkboxes. TPAs with less than 100 employers or clients will click the Select All hyperlink if they want to add all of the employers to their homepage. TPAs with access to more than 100 clients will not have the Select All hyperlink. This is so each logon can go through the full list of employers and individually select the clients they work with most frequently. To narrow down the list, a TPA can click the filter icon, which is the three lines that looks like an upside down triangle. And then from here, they can enter EAN or employer name into the filter field to narrow down the results displayed. Again, each logon should select the employers or clients that they work with most frequently. If a TPA no longer wants a particular employer to display on their homepage, they would click the Yes button to indicate they want to remove client accounts from the homepage. If I click the Yes button, any clients that currently display on the homepage are listed. Right now, the only client I have displaying on my homepage is Fluke Whale Watching. If I wanted to remove this particular employer from my homepage, I would select the corresponding checkbox. Today though, I do not want to remove this client, so I will leave it as is. It's also important to note that if you remove client accounts from your homepage, you are not removing the overall access from the TPA. If a TPA removes a client from their homepage, they can always go back in again and re-add them if they work with them again in the future. At this point, we have indicated the employers that we want to add. We are not actually going to remove any from our homepage today, so I will select the No button. We can now proceed by clicking the Next button. We are brought to the Review and Submit step. Here, we should review any roles that we are adding to confirm we selected everything correctly. If we click the Review Roles to Add hyperlink, 
A window is displayed explaining what type of access we have for each of the employers we're adding to our homepage. Again, this is access that is already established, so we are not sending a new request to the employer. We are just customizing the employers displayed on this logons homepage. Everything is correct, so we will click the OK button. And then our last step is to acknowledge that we have reviewed the selections. We'll do so by clicking the corresponding checkbox. Finally, to finish customizing our homepage, we will click the Submit button. A confirmation is displayed, and we can click the OK button. When we do so, we're brought back to a summary of the third-party administrator account. If we want to go back to our list of employers, we can click the Work with Someone Else hyperlink in the upper left-hand corner. Once we do so, the new employers that we customized our homepage with are now displayed. As a TPA, we could click into any of these employers to begin filing wages, making payments, etc. This concludes the video on how a third-party administrator logon can customize their homepage to display only the employers they work with most frequently. This particular request can be submitted multiple times in order to add or remove employers from the homepage.